Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time zone you're in. It's Jess from Audio Plugin Deals, and today we're looking at Tetrality by Audiofire. Um, so this is a four-layer kind of tonal ensemble maker. Um, it can support up to four instruments um, with 20 to choose from. Um, it has sequencers, it has randomization, um, it has different ARPs, uh, arpeggiators for different instruments. You can, it's kind of endless kind of possibilities uh, and sort of loops you can create um, over a number of scenes here. Um, and the Divisi section kind of makes it easy to kind of play each note, like a four note chord, uh, split over uh, four instruments as well. So there's different kind of features that we're going to have a look at today. Um, yeah, so um, I've had to play around with this and it's, it's great, really, really pretty. Um, so yeah, let's dive right in. Um, if you're interested in deals like this, make sure you hit the notification bell and subscribe. And yeah. So I'm just going to go over a couple of the features uh, before showing you the presets. Um, so you can see here we have a little randomizer section right up the top here. Um, so that allows you to randomize um, lots of different things for, for each scene or for all the scenes at once. Um, so there's lots of different options there. So from just randomizing the sequences and the steps, just the sounds, to all sorts, the, the effects, arpeggiators and everything, which we'll go over in a second. Um, so the randomize button as you can see here, we'll randomize at the moment all the sequences and all the sounds. You can also undo it as well. And I'll go back to the original place that it was. Or we can redo it again. <laughs> or we can randomize it again. So it allows you to create brand new kind of sort of options and keep it fresh. <laughs> I've not come across a bad one yet. They're all really, really lovely. Um, so we could even just go with just the sounds only. Um, you can see here, different combinations right here. Yeah. And you can see the Divisi is on as well, which allows it to kind of split between uh, each instrument. So yeah, that's the randomized part. Um, so if we look at each individual instrument now, we can see here, if you click up here, you can change the instrument um, that is playing. And to see what it's playing, click the edit sequence button. Like that. And we can see how many steps um, and we can click either the Improvise button or Variety button. To get it to change. Like that. And it will do it for you. You can see it doing it in real time. There's also a record feature to record your own. Yeah, we can change the timings. Um, so we go triplets. If we want to. Again, another randomizer button here as well. So total random, <laughs> absolute chaos, mild random, pitch random, preset random. Lots of different features and um, also you can adjust this to see which part of the uh, step will start on. Like so. And you can choose one of the presets down here. If you click the preset button you can actually choose um, the type of sort of pattern it's going to play. So they have rhythmic, melodic, fragmented. All you got to do is click on one of them and it will preview it for you. And if you like the sound of that, all you've got to do is click the tick button. And then it'll play it. And then you can... We'll all play together. Yeah, you can also split as well. 
so we can see you can also split them up among the keyboard as well if you want to be able to play them individually so you can press auto split uh, which will automatically assign them to a part of the keyboard you can muck around with that all you want to um, like so. Um, so yeah, it's different mapping and everything to play around with there as well. Um, like so. I don't tend to muck around with that very much, but it is really customizable. We have global options, which we can actually choose the scale we want them to all stick to. And there's a lot to choose from here. So you could put it to like D flat mixolydian if you want. <laughs> And you can apply it to all scenes if you want to. I mean, the good thing about this is the possibilities are endless with this. Um, yeah, you can have it also the sample to re-trigger or mono legato. When you want to change scenes. You don't have to take your finger off the key. Or you can do re-trigger. Which you will have to then, because otherwise it sounds a bit messy. <laughs> um, you can change the kind of like feel, the swing, the sync as well. If you really want to muck around with that. Oh, I liked it the way it was. There we go. <laughs> um, the visualizer is really just to kind of see what's being kind of triggered and played. Um, we have a mixer here. You can change up the reverb, various other things, um, the delay and all that jazz, panning, which you can see here of the instrument. Lots and lots of customizations. Um, if you click the little cog up here, you can also see how the Divisi grid is used as well to see which layer is getting which sort of note. Like so. So there we go. We also have the all effects on and all effects off. see here that will adjust the the master reverb and the delay envelopes etc turn off any effects and I can also click the if you want to reset the mixer you can also click reset like so, so for example if I've gone ahead and just mocked around with that you can reset it back easy peasy so yeah, we're going to have a look at some of the presets now.
So yeah, that was a quick overview of Tetrality by Audio Fire. I hope you enjoyed listening to it. And yeah, highly recommend. It's a, it's a great little piece of kit for creating some lovely arpeggios, lovely kind of like layered sounds. And yeah, I really enjoyed playing with it. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.